Hey guys, so I have a CTC 3D printer and it's basically a copy of a flash forge and I'm not getting my bed to heat up properly and so I'm attempting to repl place this, replace this thermistor. Um, I can't remember what what um, what the metric on that one is, but this is a 100k thermistor um, and I'll put the uh, details on that um, below. Um, the proper way to do it um, on an instructable, I believe, was um, to take to desolder these two um, uh, solder joints. And I tried to make a DIY solder wick. Um, however, I don't have the proper flux that you need. This is flux for um, you know soldering pipe. Um, so right now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut it. Um, these snips here. I think that'll do the same thing effectively. All right, we got that connection cut. Um, it's not the prettiest thing ever in the world, but um, we're gonna give her a go. Oh no! I just blew away my thermistor when I blew away the debris. Well, I was unable to recover that uh, thermistor. Fortunately, I did. I do have one spare, so we'll go with that. Um, also off camera, I was able to um, get a little bit of success with the solder after I had cut that piece off. So I will try the other side. Um, first I was just trying to go on top of the piece uh, the way you're supposed to, you know, like that. Didn't work very well before, we'll see. Try this one more time the quote-unquote proper way and that didn't work so what I did before was I just um, got direct contact you know got it all liquefied and then kind of moved in with the uh, wire here I have to get a little solder on there. Tim it up a little bit. And there you go. That looks better than we had before. So we'll go with that. And I will go about the delicate process of soldering these uh, very, very small connections. I need tweezers to hold this thing. I am by no means a soldering expert. Though I would like to 3D print things a little better. So I got that one soldered on. I just tend the tip a tiny bit, dabbed it on, and it soldered. Now we got one more chance. Alright, we got our connection all soldered up. Now I'm going to have to tape these two um, at some point. I don't have any capped on tape right now. So what I'm going to do is just kind of spread out 
uh, these two leads because we don't want any contact of these two leads. I probably should have cut it down even further. Uh, but I guess I was kind of thinking ahead of when I would put that tape there. But we'll just leave that for now and um, go get an ohm meter and see the reading. Okay, so this is something we probably should have done at the beginning. Um, I got my ohm meter here, set the 200k ohms setting, and uh, you can see that we have one hundred eighty-five. <laughs> wow. Well, that is uh, more than we expected now, isn't it? Hmm. I wonder if you go up here if that does anything. That's interesting. Now it could be that our temperature is too cold out here. It is rather cold. So we'll go inside and measure it again. Okay, so we're inside, warmed up a bit. Um, and the reading is a lot closer than it was up before. Um, so now we have... Shaky hands. Yeah, so closer to 120. You know, so I feel comfortable with that. Uh, it's close enough, I think, to test. So um, I'll uh, throw it up on the printer, um, and we'll compare the um, uh, the target temperature versus the actual temperature with the heat gun. Here I lost recording, but I'm just kind of showing you my setup. Um, here I am showing you the ambient temperature is around 25 degrees Celsius, which is pretty standard room temperature. Uh, and then we have the bed set at 70 degrees Celsius. Next I throw the heat gun on the bed, and you can see that the temperature um, is very close to the 70 degrees Celsius. Um, that was awesome. Um, here I'm going to pull up a screen of two screenshots. Here showing 47 degrees um, before this mod, and it was again set at 70 degrees Celsius. Fortunately, this was still not hot enough, so I bumped up my temperature by updating the firmware on my device using MakerBot Desktop. First, I open up MakerBot Desktop, then make sure that your printer is plugged in, and go to Devices, Update Firmware, and then you're going to click a button on the back of your machine and press next. Printing at the max bed temperature, this helped me get to hover around 110 degrees Celsius as far as the heated bed is concerned, which is very close to being able to print ABS. Um, that's as hot as I was able to achieve. If anyone else has any tips, please let me know. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.